feel as though I start my videos off the same way every time, but I don't know what else to say. I mean, I gotta introduce myself, right, for the people who are new, but then for the people who aren't new, it's like, bitch, we know your name. I don't know. I don't know. So, hey. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Shamiriel. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is my normal greeting. I couldn't think of anything else. Today's video is a haul. It's not a lot of stuff. I say that every time, but it's really not a lot of stuff. I also say that every time. I haven't done a haul in two months. I've been on no buys on and off for the past couple of months, and now I'm not on a no buy. I am gonna try to pump my brakes until my birthday, which is in, da -da -da -da, which is in July. Um, so pretty much I just need to calm down for the month of June. So whatever. Let's go ahead and jump into this haul. If you want to see what I got, I'm makeup obsessed. You're makeup obsessed. At least that's why you should be here because that's why we're all here is because we're makeup obsessed. So if you want to see what I got, then keep watching and subscribe and like the video. Thank you. Now let the hard parts out of the way. The first thing I'm going to show you is something that I have been on a waiting list for for so effing long. It is the 27 palette by Melt Cosmetics. Um, I don't know how long I've been on this palette, but you know how I've oh, been on this palette, been on hold for this palette, but you know how sometimes products come in stock, they're popular, they sell out, and then they say, you know, sign up to be alerted when the product comes back in stock. I did that for this palette months, like literally months went by and to the point where I forgot that I put this request in. And I so much so I put it on two different emails just to make sure that I saw <laughs> when this thing came in and I saw it and I got it. It's a little pricey. I think it was like, I know it was like 50. We're not here for judgment. We're here for support and all that stuff. But if you're, if you're not new to my channel, you know that I am obsessed with warm tones, golden tones, that's all my zhuzh. So when I saw this palette, and I don't have anything by Melt Cosmetics, but and who knows how I even found out about this palette. Knowing me, it was either Instagram or YouTube because that's how I feel. I find out about everything. <laughs> but this is the palette. Again, warm tones. This is my jam. This is all everything I'm about. Let's see, just off the gate, just looking at it, my favorite shade I think is Vegas, Vegas? No, baby, it's Vegas Past. It's an interesting um, name. But yeah, so like I said, I've never gotten anything from Mel Cosmetics, so I don't even know what their quality is like. Oh, this, does, this isn't as, maybe if I do some, um, what do you call it? Some Fix Plus or something on it. Hopefully y'all can see that. Let's try Crime Fighter, because I mean, this is pretty. This is a pretty shade. Hopefully these are showing up okay. I don't know why I have to put the palette on my face like this. Um, let's try downtown. This seems like it'll be a pretty transition shade. Ooh, this is pretty. Okay, so I think I can make this work, but I was, I was expecting a lot more from Vegas Past and to see that it's not as as I thought it would be, that's a little disappointing, but it's okay. So this is the 27 palette from Melt Cosmetics. And one thing I'm noticing, I used to be very, and I still kind of am obsessed with um, eyeshadow palettes. And you'll see that I still kind of am. But lately my lip, um, liquid lipsticks, lip glosses, all of that, lip liners, all of those have started to take over more than my eyeshadow palettes. Mainly because I have a better chance of wearing those things. I have a better chance of wearing lip products than I will eyeshadow because eyeshadow, for me personally, takes the longest to put on. And you know, when you're rushing in the morning, you don't, ain't nobody got time, but you can put on your lipstick at a light or at your desk or, you know what I'm saying? As opposed to busting, busting out your brushes and trying to blend and all that jazz. So. Lately, it's been all about lips for me, lip products than eyeshadow palettes. Okay, I wish I had a napkin. I do not. All right, we'll power through. Okay, let's. I'll just, I'll just wipe it on this. Yeah, there you go. Just key. Okay. 
Next up, speaking of eyeshadow palettes, I am a fan of Makeup Shayla. She has collaborated with ColourPop for a second time. And at first I was a little hesitant about whether or not I would, uh, why am I talking so fast? At first I was a little, at first I was a little hesitant about whether or not I was going to get this palette, but then it went on sale. So I was like, eh, why not? So I got the, um, Proceed with Caution Pressed Powder Palette. Again, it's Shayla's collab with ColourPop. And ColourPop, like, don't sleep on their shadows. They make some really good quality stuff considering the price. So I have several ColourPop palettes, and this is just the latest one. And if you've been on YouTube a lot, Instagram, all of that, you've seen this out and about. But this is what the palette looks like. Very pretty. I'm so excited about the shade here called Warning. Um, yeah, my fingers are clean for the most part. Ooh. Um, I'll put Warning here. Hold on. I should have. I should have thought this through. I'll put Warning here. That's pretty. It's a pretty. You'll see. That's really pretty. Can you see? I'm making my black power fist <laughs> with the wrong hand. But this is what warning looks like. And ooh, dead end is pretty too. Let's try dead end. I really should, I hate, I hate swatching because I'm so terrible at it. Ooh, this is pretty too. This is dead end. Ooh, right there. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. Very pretty. And let's just see what all, you know, let's just see caution, this bright yellow shade. Now this is not my lane. Ooh. Hey, Pigment, how you doing? But you know, I might try to find a way to incorporate, what is this one, caution in my routine at some point. So as I said before, ColourPop has very pigmented shadows, and then when you equate, when you put the price in there, like you can't beat it. So, very excited to play with this bad boy, but as you can see, the colors are really pretty. All right, speaking of ColourPop, I just got this in the mail today. I have been waiting for this package to finish out this haul. So, I just got this like maybe last week and then, or maybe the week before, and then ColourPop had another sale. And so then I got this. <laughs> All right, so I picked up, what did I pick up? Okay, I'm like, what did I pick up? So the first thing is an ultra matte lip in the shade Melonade. I think they collaborated with somebody with, for this particular, um, shade or this like collab it's, it's a whole line or something i can't keep track color pop is always doing the most but in a good way um so this is the shade Ooh, melanade it's very pretty i'm gonna give you a little oh that's pretty look at that yes. okay it doesn't have a scent but this is an ultra matte lip and it's very pretty i can already tell i think i'm gonna like it <laughs> i say i can already tell i think i'm gonna like it but no i think i will just based off how pretty this is, I should have put this on on camera. What shade am I wearing? We'll get to what shade I'm wearing. <laughs> so this is Melonade, and this is a new release from ColourPop. And then I also picked up, oh yeah. <laughs> Cause you know, you forget when you got all this stuff coming. Um, Becky G, I've never heard of her until she collaborated with ColourPop but she has an eyeshadow palette with them and some other lippies. One of her lippies from her first collab is called Besame, which means kiss me in Spanish. I love Besame, it's a very pretty color. And I think this is like her second um, collab with them. And she came out with two lips. I think you can get them individually, but I bought the set. Um, this is Fi Fi Fo. And we'll talk about the other one in a second. So again, this is Fee Fi Fo, it's a cream. Okay. Mm. I think I can make Fee Fi Fo work, but it's not, 
a color I typically gravi gravitate towards because colors like this and the color I'm wearing are more my lane. This seems kind of like a, it's like a pinkish, brownish, nudish. I, I'm not sure. You just look. <laughs> That's how I would describe it right there. But proof's in the pudding. So that's Fee Fifo. And then I got LBD, which I'm assuming stands for Little, ba Little Black Dress. I think this is going to be the color that's more in my lane just based off what I saw online. Yep. You know what this looks like? Just looking right off the top, that Tiana collab. You remember when ColourPop did the Disney Princesses collab? And they had all the uh, lipsticks and stuff named after the Disney princesses. This one looks like the Tiana shade, to be honest. But this is LBD by ColourPop and Becky G. Again, I got to do better. Let's just stand up. So that's V Five O. That's LBD, and that's Melonade. Oh, and it, okay, you can't see I have on sweatpants only because I just pointed it out. But ignore them. So there are the swatches. Whew. Okay, so yes, LBD seems more my lane. Maybe I can mix them or something. I don't know. We'll see. But they're both pretty and very creamy. They feel as though they'd be very soft on the lips, which, you know, most ColourPop things are. Okay, speaking of lips, um, I've talked about Minted Cosmetics before on my channel. They were having a sale. And I wanted to try one of their lip glosses because I have two of their lipsticks and I wanted to try gloss. So I got the shade Berry Me, B-E-R-R-Y Me. And I've already opened this and I will say the product feels nice. It feels soft. It feels like it'll be very moisturizing for the lips and shiny. But I was a little disappointed in the color only because, and you can't always go based off the chick that they show a picture of, you know what I'm saying? But it looked, I didn't think it would look like this. To me, it's a little more raisiny than berry. Let me show you. So it's to me, or you know, maybe berry is I don't know. I mean, I can see it. And then when you, when you, what's this? When you smudge it, when you spread it, <laughs> I can't think of the word, but it shears out to the point where it's not as berry as I thought it would be. Hopefully that makes sense. But this is berry me. It doesn't smell bad. And again, it feels like it'd be very soft. As you can see, it's shiny, it's glossy. I just expected a little more pigment. So you know some glosses are a little more pigmented and this isn't but I can still see me using it as like a topper um, I initially intended to use it by itself but I think I'm gonna have to definitely add this um, to a color nothing wrong with that I'm just saying it's different than what I expected okay so my last package we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up after this um, I am no stranger to Huda Beauty I like a lot of the things that she has going on. She recently had her first family and friends sale. So it was 20% off pretty much, every, or I think it was pretty much off everything on her site. So that was awesome. And I love her lippies and I wanted to try, what is this thing called? I wanted to try her matte and metal melted eyeshadows. So I bought one. And I got the shade Bamboo Hoops and Faux Fur. So it comes with a matte and a melted, or a matte and a metal shadow. Now I got this more for the metal. I feel like I'm saying that weird, metal, M-E-T-A-L is what I'm trying to say. I've purchased this more so for the metal as opposed to the matte because I just thought this shade was very pretty. Let's see. Yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty, it's shimmery. This color right here, mm, 
I'll definitely probably end up using this as something to make the like a base for another eyeshadow. I definitely wouldn't be wearing the matte shade, which is faux fur on its own, because look at that. That just looks like it would look crazy. This is faux fur. Sorry, I'm trying to get my lights to cooperate. <laughs> I don't think they are. Um, yeah, hopefully you get the point. But the point is, I'm not gonna wear this on its own. I will put this down and then put eyeshadow on over it in an attempt to make it pop a little more. So pretty much I bought this just for this shade. <laughs> but I didn't know until I got it and now we know. Next up, I got her matte lipstick. Are these, I feel like these have a special name. These are called Power Bullets. Power Bullet Matte Lipstick in the shade Ladies Night. Um, I'm running out of space for swatches. This is pretty. This is Ladies Night right here. Oh, this is Ladies Night and our rhymes is tight. Oh, this is Ladies Night. Oh, what a night. If you know that song, you're awesome. <laughs> and you're old. I'm kidding. But this is Ladies Night right here. So very pretty. Like, again, these shades, this, this, or hold on, this, and this, these are my jam. This is my lane, and I love it in this lane. All right, last up. Oh, am I making a miss? Probably. Last up. Um, <laughs> last but not least, why can't I talk? Last but not least, I got the Matte and Cream Lip Set. How cute is this? It just, the packaging is awesome. But yes, yeah, so this is ridiculously cute. And it comes in two, it comes with two mini lippies and a liner. So the lippy, one of them is from her, I believe, relatively new collection. It's a demi matte. And it's called Boss. Boss, am I saying that right? I feel like I'm saying it country. Boss. B-A-W-S-E, boss, but she spells it boss, whatever. This is the color I have on my lips right now. My lips are soft. It's not creasing or anything. It's not, it just, it feels good. It feels good, yeah. It feels good, sorry. Um, so there's a mirror there. But yes, I like the way it feels on my lips. As you can see, it's very pigmented. I haven't tried to, okay, it does transfer, which is fine. I'm not going anywhere after this video, but just so you know, it does transfer. But again, it's soft, it's creamy, the color's pretty, and yeah. I don't know what else you want from me. <laughs> it also comes with a liquid matte, which I actually have one of these, so this will be my second. This is, Famous, her liquid matte lipstick comes with one of those. And then it also comes with a liner and this is in the shade, um, Famous, okay. <laughs> so it's a matching liner and lip color. I'll give you some of the lip color because I was about to be real stingy with the swatch because I just feel like I've done too much. Okay, so I'm right-handed, but we're gonna... Okay, that's a lot. So this is what Famous... Oh, it smells good. This is what Famous looks like. So again, all of these, this is, this these shades here are so my lane. And I love it. Okay, so, I say it every time, it's not that much stuff. And that concludes today's haul. <laughs> I thank you so much for watching. Um, maybe I'll be coming and creating some looks with these. If nothing else, I'll just be posting selfies on the gram with these products because I know my selfies get likes, my views on YouTube when it comes to makeup, eh, hit or miss. So we'll see. <laughs> but I do thank you guys for stopping by for watching this video. Um, I don't have anything else to say so i hope y'all are having a good one and thank you for watching please like this video please subscribe to my channel and until my next video i'll see you later bye